So Lyft and Uber is more popular than ever, and it's only going to continue to get more popular. I mean, I remember, especially in the beginning, people were like, oh, is, is Lyft and Uber and this kind of rideshare thing going to stay, or is that a fad? And right now, and especially, I think, as time goes on, it's 100% here to stay, and it's only going to get more increasingly popular, especially around the world. And a big element to ride sharing, especially going into a stranger's car, is safety. This is a big thing that a lot of people have been kind of concerned about, right? As there have been more ride share drivers on the road, as there have been more passengers taking Lyft and Ubers and other ride sharing companies, safety is a big, big issue. And a lot of people have asked me, especially because I used to be a former driver and obviously I take Lyft and Ubers pretty much all the time, especially when I was traveling, is if I have any quick tips about ways to make sure that that Lyft and Uber is safe. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five quick tips to make sure that your safety is the number one priority and how to be the most safe while taking a Lyft and Uber. Number one, make, model, and color. Now, the good thing about kind of these five tips is kind of like a step-by-step -step process almost that I always take. And the first thing is, when you initially order that Lyft and Uber on the app, it's gonna tell you the make, the model, and it'll show you a picture of the car, which obviously shows you the color. So for example, like, you know, for me, I have a red Prius. So it will say Toyota Prius, and it'll show a picture of like a red Prius, right? So that way, when the car pulls up, if it says it's supposed to be a red Prius, but instead it's a blue Jeep, you're like, okay, something is a little bit off, right? Now, there has been times, I will say, that a car pulled up that was not the make, model, or color, and they'll roll down the window, they're like, hey, uh, Mark, Mark? And I'm like, yeah, I'm Mark, but I, I thought you're supposed to have a red Prius. You have a blue Jeep. And there's been times where the driver has said, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, you know, I'm borrowing my husband's car. I'm borrowing my wife's car. My car's in the shop right now. And in that position, I know that's happened, so I did want to adjust it on this video. If you don't feel comfortable, feel free to cancel the ride. Say, you know what, I'm sorry. I was expecting a different vehicle. I just don't trust this vehicle. And yeah, maybe the driver will get maybe mad or frustrated about that, but you are 100% in the right. And if you want to even report that, report that, to live in Uber, you can easily do so. Number two, license plate. Now, a big thing, especially here in LA, is I feel like, and I kind of use this example, having a red Prius, I feel like is a huge staple for a lot of people. I mean, this has been numerous times, pretty much all the time when I'm driving, I see other red Priuses that look exactly like mine on the road. And so you want to make sure that you're checking out the license plate. Because if, let's say, you get out of a bar, a nightclub, let's say it's like a pretty chaotic area or even at the airport for example where there's a lot of other left and ubers you want to make sure that the license plate is the same you know obviously making sure that the vehicle is the exact same as well but so i'll make sure like say it says red prius i'm like you know what there's a bajillion red priuses myself included being on the road here in la i'm just gonna make sure that the license plate is the main thing i'm gonna make sure the license plate 100 matches and so i'll usually look at the first three letters i find that's also a really good technique so let's say it's like I'll just make some, like say it's like C, D, L, 5, J, 2, blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, all right, C, D, L. So then I'll just be looking, looking, looking. I'll see C, D, L kind of in my distance. I'm like, all right, C, D, L. Then I'll kind of look at the last portion of the license plate, match them up. And then I'm like, all right, it's a red Prius and it has the same exact license plate. Number three, make sure the pictures match. So now I know that it's the actual real car. This is the exact car that's supposed to be picking me up. I'll go, I'll see the door, and when I open it, usually you can see the driver's face, you know, right then and there, and I'll make sure that the pictures will match from the one on the app. Remember that, like I said, when you do get that confirmation, like, hey, you're left in Uber's on its way, not only do you get a confirmation of the exact, you know, basically make and model and license plate of the car, but you also get to see the driver's picture. Now, don't get me wrong, obviously, sometimes people get different hairstyles, sometimes, you know, you'll go through a different, you know, just change in your kind of fashion and everything, but the pictures should be pretty close, right? Because that is a big, big indicator, right? Because let's say their name is Nick and let's say it's two guys, but they look very, very different. And the person's like, oh, my name's Nick. Is it really the same Nick or are they just kind of making up? You know, I mean, again, I'm, I'm going into some like Murphy's Law worst case scenarios here, but what I'll always kind of do is make sure that the pictures match. Again, this is kind of like a quick thing, you know, let's say I'll, I'll kind of look at their, their hair color, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and then I'll look at them and be like, all right, is the same person? Yeah, they're the, pretty much the same person. And then I'll proceed to the next step. Number four, the name confirmation. Now this, I don't think out of any of these tips, out of any of these kind of tricks I'm giving you, this is probably the number one. This is actually something that's suggested in a lot of other videos, blogs. I think even Lyft and Uber sometimes suggest this. And that is to one, never say your name. And two, to wait for them to say it. 
So, for example, when I open the door, sometimes even, which is a good technique, is, I, you know, you can open the door and say, hey, who are you here to pick up? Because a lot of times, too, let's say drivers, or let's say you're confused, let's say, like I said, it's a bar or an airport where things are kind of chaotic, they may think that you're the person they're supposed to pick up. So, let's say I open the door and say, hey, uh, who are you here to pick up? And they're like, uh, Kyle? And I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm not Kyle. And then I'll shut the doors. And that's good, obviously, for the driver as well. Because remember, for a lot of drivers, there is a safety issue too, right? You have random people coming into your car. So the safety is kind of a two-way street for both the driver and obviously the passenger. So the big thing is to open the door, never say your name, never give an indication of your name. Because if, let's say, they don't know your name, if, let's say, they're confused, if, let's say, they just can't, for whatever reason, tell you who you are, that is an issue, right? So open the door and wait for them to say your name. If they don't, you can say, hi, just curious, who are you here to pick up? Oh, Mark? All right, let's go. And number five, follow the GPS and tell some of your friends. Now this, again, I want to stress, this is like, say, a worst case scenario. Let's say you're like, oh, shoot, like, I got into the right car. I know it's the right person. They said my name. This is the exact lift that we're supposed to be taking. One thing you can do, especially if you're in a new area, is follow the GPS. So pull up, like, Google Maps or Waze or whatever on your phone. Make sure they're going the right way. Make sure they're not taking any odd detours, right? So you can that way bring that up verbally. But another thing too is you can tell some of your friends, let's say if you feel unsafe. Let's say if you're like, you know what? I know I'm in the right left and Uber. I know I'm in the right one, but something just seems sketchy. Like they, they, they're taking me down this weird side street that they say is a shortcut. I don't know. You can possibly let some of your friends know and, and stuff like that. So a, a big thing I will say, I think especially if you, like I said, if you're in an area you've never been in, Pulling up the GPS and everything is a really important tactic. Now, I will say a lot of drivers usually have their phone right there on their dashboard. And while they're driving, they're usually looking at it like this. So you can clearly see their GPS from a distance, right? And in addition to you can always bring it up. Like there's been times, like say, where I'm in a new area and a driver takes a weird detour. And I can see that on the GPS, it does a recalculating type thing. And I'm like, hey, are we going a different direction? And they're like, oh, you know what? This highway is always packed. I'm just going to take this one little back road. It's, it's way faster. And then that's up to you, right? You can say, hey, you know what? I just appreciate if you stay on the main road just for safety. Or you can just be like, you know what? Okay, I'll pull up on my GPS and then you can follow them. So it's a big way you can do because obviously up into this point, you make sure that now that you're in the same car and you're in the right car, right? That you're supposed to be in. But obviously just in terms of safety, especially during the ride, this is a great tactic. And now a bonus tip is to have pepper spray. Now I know I'm going into now ultra, ultra, ultra Murphy's Law. I know especially for a lot of my girlfriends, this is what they do, they have pepper spray on them, just in case. And, I, and one thing I wanna say too, that a lot of these kind of tips, although they're more geared towards passengers, like I said, work for drivers as well. I mean, there have been cases where drivers have been attacked while driving, you know what I mean? And one thing I do wanna say, and I, I do wanna kind of stress this, that uh, this whole idea of being safe and left an Uber is very, very rare. It is unbelievably rare. One in maybe a million cases, something negative happens in a left an Uber. So I do want to stress that. I'm not trying to like scare anybody by making this video. But like say, if it does kind of alleviate this kind of anxiety of like, shoot, I, I don't know if I can trust this driver or not, or even as a driver, I don't know if I can trust this passenger. They just seem off. Maybe have pepper spray on you. This is probably the you know, the best kind of self-defense way, because obviously it's not like you have to fight. It's very, very effective. And obviously they're legal to purchase and legal to basically have on you. And so I will say, like I said, especially for a lot of my girlfriends, like say you're getting to live in Uber, or, you, or even like say if you're a female driver and you're driving and you're worried and you have this male passenger in your car, something just seems off. Sometimes just having it there, I think can alleviate the anxiety that if something does happen to go wrong, you have a way to defend yourself. So overall, I hope you enjoy these tips, obviously. And like I said, I think that a lot of these cases that you hear about in the news and everything, also, something you should be aware of, safety is always, always a massive, massive priority and a massive, massive issue, I think, especially when you have two strangers meeting, you know, again, for both passengers and for drivers. But overall, I promise you, taking a look at Uber is extremely safe nowadays, especially if you follow these tips.